I'll move this out so it doesn't piss you off. I think. <laughs> Today I'm doing a curly hair routine on 3A low density hair. This is my friend Gabu. Gabu is a musician. He plays in Lokichara and various other bands in Calcutta. Gabu is a music director and a composer. I'll leave his socials down in the description. So, today we're doing a curly hair routine on Gabu. If that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. So first, I'm just going to start by detangling Gabu's hair and then we're going to pre-poo it. I have all of my detangling tools here. Let's see what works best for him. Since he is just starting CG, which means that since this is his first wash, I don't want to put him through the whole detangling process while it is wet. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to detangle the hair before I start washing it. Your hair is completely product free, right? Huh. So I'm using the plum oil. I don't have to worry about how much oil I'm using because I'm gonna go in with a clarifying shampoo. But for everyday use, I wouldn't recommend Gabu do this. So like for your regular wash days, right? Mm -hmm. I would ask you to use like a much milder shampoo. Mm -hmm. But since you'll probably have silicone buildup on your hair, mm -hmm. for your first wash, I'll use a clarifying shampoo, which will be a lot more cleansing. And so it doesn't matter that I'm putting oil on the lengths of your hair. Mm -hmm. If this was a normal wash day, I wouldn't put the oil on your lengths. I would have probably mm -hmm. only put it on your scalp. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to work in small sections. As you can see, I'm going to take my time and work only in small sections and then detangle all of it. Starting from the bottom and then I'm working my way to the top. So now I'm going in with the Miniso brush. I just want to see which one is best to detangle dry. I feel like this is working a little better on your hair. Mm -hmm. You're not feeling any pulling and tugging? Huh? No, no. This is awesome. I'm really liking the Miniso brush on Gabu's hair. It's doing a very good job detangling. So as you guys have realized, I always talk about the EXO curl comb. And I tend to prefer it on my hair. But the EXO curl comb was not that great on Gabu's hair. This brush is doing like a far better job. Like this was a breeze. It's an absolute breeze. And also I'm only dry detangling because he has no product on his hair. If his hair was already styled, so let's say for like his second and third wash, I probably wouldn't recommend detangling dry. But since his hair is virgin hair, it has never been styled before, I'm totally comfortable detangling when it is dry but on a regular basis i would probably suggest detangling in shower while deep conditioning or while conditioning now i'm just going to prepo his scalp because i can see that you have like a dry scalp yeah. so we need to deal with this and since i'm using a clarifying shampoo i'm not going to worry about the amount of oil that I use. Mm -hmm. If I was using a CG friendly shampoo, then I probably wouldn't use this much oil. So just with my fingertips, I'm very gently massaging the scalp. So this is a winter curly hair routine video. Gabu has a severely dry scalp with a lot of flaky dead skin. This is an issue of inadequate moisturization I've spoken about this at length on Instagram. Definitely check my posts out. So I've paid great attention and parted his hair carefully and made sure to saturate his scalp with oil. I also gently massaged the scalp to remove the dead skin cell buildup. After pre-poo, it's time for the shampoo process. Gabu hopped into the shower and saturated his hair with water. I decided to use the Love Beauty Planet shampoo. This shampoo contains a sulfate and is therefore classified as a clarifying shampoo. Since we're dealing with a dry flaky scalp, I'm also using the Earth Rhythm Hydrating Moisture Lock Complex. This is a scalp treatment. This can be mixed in with your shampoo or it can be used as a pre-poo treatment in itself. So here we started the shampoo process. I'm applying the shampoo to the scalp and massaging. This is an example of the final wash. Since we applied oil to the lengths of the hair, we'll also be shampooing the lengths of the hair, unlike regular washes, where we only focus oil on the scalp and only focus shampoo on the scalp. 
Now I'm going in with a shampoo brush and I'm using it to remove all the dead skin buildup on the scalp. This will give Gabu a thorough cleanse. My advice here is to not go in in circular motions because this will only cause further tangles. Find a direction that works and doesn't obstruct the hair. Brush going back and forth, concentrating on a smaller area. Then Gabu hopped into the shower once more and washed the shampoo off thoroughly. Since he has low porosity hair, we'll be directly deep conditioning his hair and not using a normal conditioner. I'm using the Just Herbs Shirolipam Scalp and Hair Treatment Mask. This is going to provide moisture and also tackle that issue of a dry scalp as well as dry lengths. I'll emulsify the product and apply it to the hair lengths using praying hands. And then next, I'll do a two-strand twist to curl train. I'll also focus this mask on his scalp, part his hair in sections and focus the product on the scalp. Here I'm using a tail comb because it just makes parting the hair a little easier. And again, I'm going to do a two strand twist. Lastly, I'm going to squish to condition. This is going to allow for better penetration of the product as well as curl train at the same time. Next, I'm going to take all of his hair and clip it up. And then I'm going to cover it in a plastic shower cap. I'll place a clip on top of the cap and then cover it with a microwavable heat cap. Since Gabu has low porosity hair, we'll be using heat to deep condition. This is going to allow the cuticle to open up slightly and in that way, it's going to enable better penetration of the hair mask. We'll leave the heat cap on for 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm going to ask him to wash the mask off thoroughly. So I'm going to start styling, but before I start styling your hair, mm -hmm. I'm just going to comb your hair out so mm -hmm. that there are no tangles can already see some really nice clumps forming so that's a good sign nice. for some reason I'm not liking this comb on your hair at all mm -hmm. anyway hair's thoroughly combed through think I'll experiment with a few combs and see which one I like better so Gabu has low porosity hair and I have two choices I can use the Northwish this is lighter and it'll give me more shrinkage or I can use the Ashpa which will be a little more moisturizing but it'll also give me a little less shrinkage so I think I'll play it safe and use this and then later on if I feel like his hair is not moisturized enough I'll end with an oil when I'm SOTCing Gabu has low density hair and so I'm gonna try my best to enhance his volume which is why I'm gonna style in sections. If he had higher density hair, then I probably wouldn't need to put in that much effort because he has type three hair. And so no matter what I do, I'm not gonna have trouble forming the curl. But since this is low density hair and I want that volume, I'm gonna be working in sections. So I've sectioned his hair off. We have two sections at the bottom and two at the top. Before I start styling his hair, the first thing that I'll do is, I'll make sure to get it wet with some water. So I'm gonna give this a generous spraying down. This is gonna help me with the wet frizz. This is gonna help me form the clumps perfectly. And this is a great place to start, especially if you're dealing with low porosity hair that tends to repel water. You want to make sure you have enough water in the hair while you're forming the clumps. One pump of the product, I'll ask you to hold the bottle. Spray my hands down. Emulsify. Apply using praying hands. I'm going to start here and I'm going to avoid the scalp area in general. I'm touching the hair and I can feel that this is producty. So if I had to use one pump of product on my hair, it wouldn't feel like this. But since this is low porosity hair, I can feel that it's all producty. It feels nice and slimy and slippery to the touch. And I haven't even applied any gel yet. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just gonna use some gel. I'm using the Enliven Blue Tub, which is a level four gel.
I don't know if you guys can see this, but see when the hair starts resisting, this is the starting of frizz. So when you're applying your products, you want to make sure that all of your hair, can you see this? So when we're styling, we want to avoid these sections. We want to make sure that the hair is nice and sort of, you know, laid together. The moment this starts to happen, this is when you're not going to have perfect clumps and also you're going to experience wet frizz. So you want to make sure that the hair lays flat against each other and it doesn't have any bumps. I'm going to style Gabu's hair in vertical sections but since this is type 3 hair I'm going to have a little fun with it and I'm going to try out a few brushes to see which one works best. We'll start with a detangling brush. I'm going to take it underneath the section of hair. Yeah, I'm going to hold it like so and then I'm going to create tension. So generally a terry cloth towel is a big no-no but just so that you guys have some contrast and you can see what's happening with the hair. I'm just gonna put this in front. Let's try that again. I'm gonna take the section. First, I'm gonna make sure that all the hair lays flat. If required, take your comb and comb through. I'm gonna take the hair from underneath the section, finger here, and I'm gonna create tension. I can't hear the squishing sound, which means that I need more water. That sounds right. The mini so do. So the difference that I see there is, with this comb I'm getting fatter clumps compared to this comb, which is the detangling comb dupe. Now I want to try this comb, which is also a dupe. And this gave me the smallest clumps, comparable to this, pretty much the same size. So Gabu, if you had to do this at home, mm -hmm. I would not recommend this to you mm -hmm. because of course you want like a low maintenance routine, right? right? And you don't want to spend this much time doing your hair. Mm -hmm. And so for you, what I would say is use the rake and scrunch technique. Mm -hmm. So I took the leave-in conditioner, mm. right? Mm. And what you're going to do is emulsify on your hand mm. and then just rake your hair through. Then I want you to take a mousse, apply it on your hair, rake it through. And then after that, I want you to finish by just scrunching your hair. Mm -hmm. So at home, I wouldn't recommend this routine to you, this styling routine because this would be like too much effort and also your hair will take longer to dry if you use a gel. If you use a mousse, right, your hair will dry much faster. Mm -hmm. So if you're like on the go and you don't have too much time, mm. in fact, for all of your wash days, I would suggest a leave-in conditioner mm. and a mousse. Don't use a gel like I'm doing here today. Mm -hmm. See, because your hair is curly. Mm -hmm. So even without effort, look at these beautiful clumps that we're getting. So I think now I want to go in with the Denman brush because for type 3 hair, a Denman brush is perfect. It is the perfect tool to use. I don't like what's happening at the back of his head here because I feel like there's a lot of elongation happening here. And I haven't styled curly hair before. So this is a learning process for me as well. I've decided that I'm scrapping this and I'm gonna go in with horizontal sections instead. So here I'm just sectioning the hair, making sure it's lifted. All of it is directed away from the scalp so that I get maximum volume, since this is low density hair. I also want to make sure that all of the hair is laying flat against each other. Very honestly, don't be afraid to comb through before you start styling. Then I'm simply twirling the hair with a Denman brush. I've called this technique the Denman twist before. I've demonstrated it in detail in my latest Denman brush video. And then lastly, I'm going to style the top sections with the Denman brush. Taking the hair and lifting it off the scalp and directing it away so that it gives me maximum volume. I'm also demonstrating a finger roll technique here because hey, why not? So when you're doing a finger roll technique, before you start, make sure to wrap the hair around two fingers of the same hand. Once the hair is secure and tucked in and it's not coming out or going anywhere, then introduce the next hand and then start twisting upward. 
Once you reach the base of your head, unravel the hair in an opposite direction. These are what the finger rolled clumps look like. So now what I want you to do is take your hair delicately, mm -hmm. separate it from the back mm -hmm. and bring it to the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now bring it to the side. Yes, exactly, perfect. Lastly, I'm going to scrunch the hair in an upward motion and also check for that squishing sound. At this point, I'm expecting Gabu's hair to feel like seaweed. It should feel slimy and slippery to the touch. This is when you know that you've done things perfectly. We're going from a side to side position. And then lastly, we're going to go upside down and then we're going to give it a final scrunch. After this, we plopped for 30 minutes. We took the hair down. We let the gel form a light cast. And then lastly, I diffused. I have detailed videos on how to plop, how to air dry, how to diffuse. I'll leave all of them down in the description. I have detailed videos on both routines, so let's cut to the results. So Gabu's hair is dry now, but it's not like 100% dry. But since we're in a hurry, I'm gonna scrunch out the crunch and let's see what we're working with. It's still pretty wet, but anyway. I'm fluffing out the roots for maximum volume and then scrunching out the crunch. And these are the results. So amazing. Thank you so much. You know, it's perfect for all the upcoming shows that are going to happen. So. Alright, so we're done. This is the final look. <laughs> what do we think? It's awesome, you know, I mean, it's been so long uh, that my hair got into justice and finally it's happening. Thank you, Michelle. Amazing. Alright guys, so that was pretty much it. A 3A curly hair routine video. Uh, hopefully you guys learned from this video. Kabu, did you enjoy this? I process? loved it. This is, this is so cool, yeah. Would you do something like this at home? See, I mean, I don't have the capability, but I would, if I could, I would. But, you know, I'll, I'll try and do like a shorter version, a simpler version of this, you know, so that my hair is cool. Yeah. In fact, you guys also, if you don't have too much time and you're in a hurry and you want a routine that's like quick, that's like low maintenance, a rake and scrunch with a leave-in and a mousse could probably be your go-to method. All right, so that was pretty much it. Thank you so much, Gabu, for thank being you, with thank us. Thank you, thank you, Michelle. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Why are you crying, Gabu? <laughs> Why is that? Oh! That's all. <laughs> you can wipe your face, you know. <laughs>